I first had the opportunity to come to Israel about two years ago. I taught the book of Hebrews at Israel College of the Bible, and it was really a transformative experience for me because I was working through this wonderful New Testament book with a group of Jewish believers. Many of them had been steeped in the Old Testament scriptures, and their insights into the book of Hebrews were amazing. When I get to the end of that course, often um, we are full of worship for God because of our high priest, Yeshua. And what I do when I get to the end of the course in the States or even in other parts of the world is we sing a hymn called Before the Throne of God. It's a hymn that is based on the book of Hebrews. And when I got to the end of my course here in Israel, we, um, we sang that hymn. But then one of the sisters said, could we sing Ram Vanisa Hamashiach? High and exalted is the Messiah. And so Jamie got out his guitar and started playing and these Jewish brothers and sisters started worshiping Yeshua, Jesus, as the Messiah. And I just wept because here in front of me, I saw the fulfillment of uh, what had started with God's revelation in the world, the gospel that runs through the Old Testament scriptures and into the New Testament. Of course, when I came to Israel, I loved seeing the ancient stones. I loved going to places like Caesarea in Jerusalem. But what was really transformative for me was seeing the living stones, seeing brothers and sisters in Christ who were a part of the Jewish people those people who had laid the foundation for the church and still today are bearing witness to the historical events of what God has done to change this world, to come after us in the gospel and bring us back to himself. I'm now in Israel for the second time and it's been really the next step in my own journey because this time I had a chance to meet with pastors half of whom were Jewish and half of whom were Arab. And we met to study the book of Hebrews for four solid days in the city of Nazareth. And here I saw not only Jewish brothers who were pastors, but also Arab brothers mixing, talking, laughing, enjoying each other, having fellowship around the table and embodying the gospel in a way that was really amazing to see that God not only brings peace to the heart, but he also brings peace in our relationships and transforms our cultures by the gospel. It is exciting what God is doing today in the land of Israel. Our ministry, One for Israel, is an initiative of native-born Israelis on the forefront of media and high-tech evangelism, boldly proclaiming salvation to Israel. Raising up leaders and equipping them with the tools they need to transform our communities. We also provide humanitarian aid to Holocaust survivors with the love of Yeshua. Join us as we share the gospel in Israel. Become one for Israel.